Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back with some more city skylines and our challenge to reach a goal of 100,000 population. Thank you so much for the support on the previous two episodes and we're going to continue this little building project on the side and today I hope to use some of the Sunset Harbour DLC and get a little bit of a harbour and maybe a little key going on the side here. I may also experiment with making some farmlands and another village just in order to grow our population a little bit more. Okay so we previously unlocked another tile and I want to expand into that today and perhaps do a little bit of a fishing key. So first things first I'm just going to use the dirt track road tool and I just want to grab onto the roundabout. Hang on where's the dirt track road just up here. and my plan is to sort of swing down into a bit of a harbour but when grabbing onto the roundabout just to avoid traffic lights I want to try and line it up parallel to the opposite road so that there's a little dot there right here and if we just pull it off in a straight line there won't be any traffic lights off that roundabout again our city's not a dense city yet so traffic's not going to be a problem I was planning on putting a key in just here and building something there so I think for the time being I probably will delete this railway station but I'm just going to put a road in parallel to it and let's just bring these two roads together and as you can see in the middle there of them roads there's some yellow land so that's where we're going to put a farm area down and I'll have some little sprawling roads off of this one but my plan is to actually do some terraforming and try and build a key so let's just get these roads clipped in yeah that's okay for now just in here I'm gonna put some farmlands in here I'm probably gonna put a village but before I do that I want to concentrate on this little area down here and I'm gonna terraform it and put a key in so we've got a bit of a harbour area going on so let's have a look at how that's going to look but before we do that I'm going to build a bit of a key along the middle here Okay, so I'm finished with the basic outline here. Got some area marked out for a farm and a village. But back over to our key. And you can see I've put a little canal in down the back just to run out for our fishing area. And I want to put down one of the harbours. So whereabouts is that? Um, okay, fish. Here we go. Fishing harbour. So let's put one of these down. Um, could potentially squeeze two of them in here but I might be overdoing it I'm just gonna have to delete this road in order to connect it on here it's one of the reasons I put the key in front so it keeps it all level at the edge here 
Um, see, we could put two on, but I think no, I think that'd be a bit much. I'm going to shift it more into the middle. I think. Delete that road here and try with two, but I think it might be overdoing it. No, I'm just going to shove this in the middle. Yeah, I think it's better. Might be overdoing it with just two of the same building on the edge there. And it's only a little key, so let's link it up to a road. So this is the harbour. Now we've got to set up a route for the harbour in order for it to gather fish and there's a couple of other buildings we get too so that's our route okay so we've got fish market and a fish factory so i was thinking about putting the fish factory down just behind this harbour so let's see how big this is and it's reasonably large i may have to delete the road in the middle Um, it does create a little bit of pollution and noise, so we don't want it near our village, so it'll sit down here quite well. And I think if I put it on the outside, it's going to eat away into that mountain, so let's delete the road going through the middle. Like so. We put it down just here. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. A little bit more of an industrial area. And that's obviously going to feed off our little harbour here. And there's also a marketplace. And I might just stick that next to the fish factory. Although it may cause problems with traffic or people getting through. Um, let's have a look at it. It also requires fish. If it doesn't look industry enough, then perhaps we'll, uh, we'll stick it somewhere else. But let's just have a look what it looks like down. It won't fit there, perhaps uh, in this car. Ah, there we go. Just sort of here. Might look better on the opposite side. Let's just check it out first. Okay. No, actually, I don't think that looks too out of place. So we've got a little bit of a fish market here. And as soon as I lock unlock the generic commercial buildings, I will change this. But for now, I'm just going to put a little bit of normal commercial in that little gap there. Let's see how that gets on. So we need some power. Just clip on to the village over here. And now we need to set up a route as well for our fishing harbour. So now the fishing harbour works a little bit like the air balloon, I believe. Uh, here we go. So you can see the water. We got some different colours here. They represent different types of fish. So all we've really got to do is just plan a bit of a route. Just like the air balloon, really. Um, and this might not be the most efficient route, but it'd be nice to see fishing boats just coming past on the horizon there from where the village is, so, okay, and try not to make the turns too tight, now that should start sending out fishing vessels and we'll finally start seeing some boats on the ocean hopefully, oh there we go, here's our first one, fantastic, uh, and you can see here our boat is loading up with fish it's at 32 percent capacity at the moment so we could micromanage these routes a bit more and make sure that they're heading back by the time they get to a hundred percent but i kind of like the fact that they're going in front of our town over there and we've got some boats on the horizon so i'm just going to leave it like that 
and uh, we'll see how we get on. As you can see the fish factory actually needs materials or raw fish to work at the moment but it's just going to have to wait until the fishing vessels have done what they've done. So now then as you can see at the bottom here we're crying out for more residents, people are willing to move in. So I'll just place a little bit of residential here, start this growing and power wise well we could put some advanced wind turbines in the water there if we wanted but um, we're probably just going to power off the rest of the power that we've got in the bottom of our town over here and run some pylons all the way down. This area should have a little elementary school so it saves everybody having to travel down but it's not going to be a dense populated village. I'll keep this quite small just on the edge here. We need to get some water down I guess as well. They'll start moving in there. Let's put our pipe work in along this road. Now we do have the highway that we can bring along this road so this road is literally only a temporary one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I just didn't want to build all of our residential all in one place. And I think it's better to build in a line and spread out. I feel it looks more realistic when you break things up like this so it will all come together in the end as we can unlock more stuff. Okay so let's just bring these power lines because they've got to come a long way. I like to run them parallel to the road so let's get them coming. Oh just lost it there. Let's get them coming all the way down here and I guess we can just feed off here like so. Oh that's not straight. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to bring them down but I'm just going to straighten them out. Let's do this. Bring them out here so there and like so. Yeah, there we go. So it's running more along with the road. Okay, people are starting to move in. Let's get ourselves a little park down to next to the school. Um, Small playground, small park. Let's try the large playground. Somewhere here. There we go. Okay, so let's designate this area to be farmland. And I'm going to use the Industries DLC just to make some farms and crops up in the middle here. There we go and if we just come into the industries tab here and go to farms we need to shove our main farm building down first so let's just shove that I don't know somewhere around here and that has unlocked small pastures and crop fields that we can put in so let's get these crop fields and I'm just going to pop a few of them down here so we've got like some wheat fields and later on I'll detail it with some more hedgerows and bushes and they of course need water even though they're crop fields so I'm just going to follow this road along. Now this farm road I'm actually probably going to leave as a dirt track road even though it does get a little bit heavier with industry I'm just going to keep it small not have too much on there okay and so what are these growing? Cotton. So we're going to change this to wheat fields. And we can also put a couple of cattle farms down as well. So we can produce meat and grain. Okay. Have a look. What else have we got in here? There we go. 
So small animal pasture. I'm going to stick a couple of these down as well. Say so one about maybe here. And let's have one here as well. Okay. And some silos just for some basic storage. Shove a few of these down in between our crops here. And this will be more than enough to level us up in farming. Okay, busy town, fantastic. We've just reached a population of 4,200 and with it we've unlocked a few new buildings, some new roads, highway intersections, all sorts of stuff. And I'm probably going to use some of them grass roads later on. Got hospitals and the oil power plant, which I think I need to place as our electricity is definitely running low. And lots and lots of other buildings that we certainly won't be using just yet. But they're all great. The more buildings, the better. I've just done a little bit of detailing on the farm here, put some hedgerows down. But as we've just unlocked the oil plant, I don't think putting our budget up for electricity is going to quite cut it. So it might be an idea just to place the oil plant down. And looks like we've had a fire down here. Oh. Some dead looking trees there. They will actually uh, come back to life a little bit later on. As you can see, had a fire over next to the school over here, but I did put an extra fire engine in. There's our little farm area working, but we need to get more residential buildings down. And this area is marked, or I've marked it for dense residential, but because we can't unlock it yet, I'm just gonna have to put some normal residential in. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put a pathway in between. Because I find when you get to the dense residential stuff, it really helps to have pathways running between these giant skyscrapers. Otherwise they can all look a little bit too compact. So, again, where I can, I like to bring the pathways in at intersections. So, might have undo overdone it a little bit, but... Behind this area, I'm probably going to bring a train line in as soon as we can unlock that. Let's just push this a little bit closer to the edge. Like so. Probably should update the roads around the outside first. Otherwise it might end up deleting these pathways. Let's just see. Yeah, it's, like it's going to delete them. Typical. Um, actually, I might like that better. Yeah, that's broken up enough. Even though there's some funny looking squares, and there might be some misshapen, dense housing. Um, some of the areas are just, yeah, not fully marked. As you can see, we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so now we've unlocked some more roads as well, we can use the roads with grass on and I'd like to use these on busy intersections. As you can see down here near the school, even though this is going to destroy our pathways, we've got loads of cars parking so I'm going to get rid of them by having a grass road so they can't park along here. I've got parking right next to the avenue and let's just put our pathways back because unfortunately that deleted them like so bring that out here a little bit and we'll have this one because it lights up at night and has street lamps so it kind of breaks up things when you have the nighttime circle cycle with this particular pathway. It's going to be tricky to bend around without deleting anything. 
Still want to delete the buildings, but can we just come out one more here? Let's just try and curve it this way. And yeah, and if I just use the move it tool, I can straighten it up. Sorry, sometimes these things can be a little bit finicky. There we go. It's back to how it was. And just along the front here, I'm going to change this to a sort of grass road. Even though they're not parking here, they are parking outside the gardens there. So I'm not doing every street like this because just the front end so they don't park there. They're fine to park outside the houses, that's okay, that's fine. But on the busier roads, it just looks like there's less traffic. Okay. Yeah, now things are traveling across there and nobody's parking outside the soda place. They have to go and find some parking spaces. So here's our fishing industry. And it's not quite bringing us enough fish, which is this one harbor. So there was another building that we could put down, which is the static fish farm. Um, where is it? Here we go. Fish farm. So I'm thinking we could put it on this corner here, perhaps delete this road. Okay. So see what that looks like there. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let's just fix our road back up again. So that'll be another source of fish for our market. And should just gather fish a little bit over a time. Just fix this road here. Might have to terraform this little bit just here. Later on. Let's just see how it looks over the top. Yeah, I'll probably do something with that a little bit later on. It rises up a bit too high here. Okay, so... Um, it needs some power. And I guess we'll run it along next to this road. And uh, I don't really want to destroy that rock. Um, and I'm likely to build some stuff going along the canal there. So let's not bring the power cable across the canal. Let's just hook it into the farm area for now. Okay. It looks like a boat's going to go through our static farm. So if I just move the road. There we go. Just move the pathway out of the way of that. So it doesn't look like it's crashing into our farm. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So that's another building. So we've got to level all of this area up before we can unlock other stuff. But it's just going on to become commercial goods. So it's not quite like what the industry DLC is. It works a little bit different. And there's a mixture of all different things in this DLC. There's um, helicopter pads and other things that we'll experiment with, but Okay, so looks like we're going to have to put another power station down. We've unlocked the oil power plant now. Oh, we've got the geothermal plant, but I think I'm just going to put another generic one down. So I'm just going to go for the oil plant. And perhaps later on we'll go for something completely different. So there's our coal plant just on the edge in the bright blue. We'll stick it here because it's fairly easy for deliveries there. And that'll keep us going quite a bit longer, I should imagine, with oil. Sewage as well, we're going to need to be stored in the running out low on water availability. So let's stick ourselves another water treatment plant in here. And 
we'll go for the inland water treatment plant as well again as you can see it's polluting the area on the ground instead of into the ocean so that was also part of the sunset DLC and I know there's some upgrades as well that we can get for these later on that should and have I not put any pipe work in that's might explain why these houses okay let's just bring that round this road like so fantastic okay so they've all got power and water and wonderful just before we can get away we've hit the milestone of big town so now we're going to be able to build some denser buildings but that's going to have to wait until next time let's just experiment in over here with our steel works and I was just going to do a little bit of terraforming and stick the new building down we've got. Okay, that should do it and as you can see this industrial steel plant is absolutely huge and I just thought we'd put this down as the last thing and then we can level up our steel works a little bit more so I'm not sure if I should actually put this horizontally rather than vertically but let's just have a look there we go let's jug it into the mountain at the back there but that is a gigantic industry building It'd be good if we can get the cargo train and something stopping here at this end of our city. But that's about all the time I've got for this episode of Complete City Skylines. Thank you very much for all of the support on the series so far in the first couple of episodes. Hope you're enjoying it. I know it's a little bit more relaxed to some of the other stuff that I've been doing. But like I say, with the new DLC, I'm hoping to get a little bit of interest in it. And this game is one that I've always come back to. So I'm pleased you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Let's just make sure our steel plant has got some water. And that's quite a detailed building just in the background here. Let's say I might change its position, but in the next episode we're definitely actually going to be doing some high density residential and putting a skyline onto our city. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.